Well, good morning, Get Wrecked for Recovery crew. Oh, wait, I'm not dressed yet. All right, that's, I really like how that works. I'm liking my whole Redeeming Eden shirt, doing the legwork for recovery, YouTube. Yeah, so uh, it's day 44 of the Redeeming Eden Cycle Tour, R-E-C-T, Get Wrecked for Recovery. A bicycle trip up the Atlantic coast of America to raise awareness that there are addiction recovery options available that you don't have to die in your addiction. There's churches, celebrate recoveries and rescue missions all over the nation, all over the world that just wanna help you, talk to you, and love you if you find yourself bound by addiction. So I'm here in Lower Manhattan, right next to Wall Street, all the stuff. Uh, One World Trade Center's right around the corner from here somewhere, but I don't know which direction it is because I've never been here before. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, it's uh, warming up. It's a sunny day, beautiful, just gorgeous blue skies, uh, which is what I was praying for. I was hoping that it would be that way so that I could have a lot of opportunities to share the gospel, uh, unpack my testimony, unpack uh, what God's done for us through his death, burial, and resurrection. Uh, you know, he was raised to new life, and he gives that new life to us. Uh, the resurrection power of Christ is what we can walk in. It's new life. It's so cool. Uh, so, I'm excited to go share that. There is a subway entrance right here below me, and I'm considering doing, like, some of the city on the bike, and then doing some of the city through the subway. Uh, I don't think I can take my bike on the subway. But I'm going to do, like, a cool thing today. I'm going to try and have an entire pizza, one slice at a time, eight slices from eight different places and rank them <laughs> as I go throughout my day to day. Because, I mean, this is the pizza capital of the world. Uh, so what better place to try all the pizzas than here? Uh, but yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm like so excited. I'm gonna throw my little light jacket on and head on out and you'll see more of that right about now. Yeah. All right, so I just got done here at the uh, post office and sent some stuff, some stuff home. Uh, now I'm gonna go find that first slice of pizza. Let's go. One down, seven to go. So Uptown Pizza was pretty good. It was a little greasy. Uh, the crust was really good though, so. Anyway, we'll see how this goes. All right, so I made it into Times Square on the way up here to Central Park. Uh, really crazy seeing this in person after all these years of watching this very same spot every New Year's. Like, to be here, you know, it's honestly, it's it's big, like there's a lot to it, but it's smaller than I expected. I know that's strange, it's tighter, um, like the, the roads are, are thinner. It looks huge on here, it's strange, because you know, mountains always look different. They look smaller, this looks bigger than what it is when I'm here. Maybe it's just perspective. I mean, it's definitely really tall. Here's the ball up here that they drop. Uh, yep, right there. So, anyway, uh, super cool. Really just super cool whole section here. Uh, I'm going to talk to some folks and then head on up to Central Park. So, here goes nothing. Love you guys. See you later. All 
right, so another thing that I've noticed here is if you look at like uh, the pixelation on this billboard here, uh, there's one over here, and this looks like a giant TV. They, I cannot tell where the tiles are. I cannot see any pixels. Uh, this is the first time I've seen this like in, in real life. A clarity like that. It's also the same clarity on this one, but this one's in the sunlight. Um, but it's strange to see this because it's like, I cannot tell that that is not just a, you know, a TV. I mean, it's a lot of little lights, but it's, it's that clear. I'll try to zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about. It, it, uh, there's no discernible difference between me looking at my phone or looking up at that wall. Uh, really cool. I wish that this one, I could show this one. It's the whole side of this building uh, all the way around, but it's so sunny that it's really hard to see the same thing like you can see on this one. So, uh, I wanted to just like stop here and slow down and uh, say how incredible this park is. Like Central Park is huge. Uh, I don't know what the like square footage or acreage is of this park. But I, I've been riding for like 30, maybe 35 minutes at a pretty steady pace. They've got like a car lane for, there's no traffic allowed. They've got a car lane for the police. Then they've got like a slow bike lane. Then they've got a fast bike lane. And then they've got a pedestrian lane off to the left. Uh, and so I've just been kind of chilling in the slow bikes lane just doing my thing um, going all the way around this park and you could not have told me that it was a this hilly b that it had this many like rocks and lakes and uh, little mountainous sections in it um, or that it was just this big of a park. Like I'm still trying to wrap my head around where all I've where all I've been in this section uh, because it's been what I feel like is a lot of bike riding. It's getting pretty late in the afternoon. It's like almost uh, 1:15 now. Um, I stopped and talked to so many people in Times Square. If you, uh, if you started subscribing to the channel from a sticker that I gave you in Times Square, drop a comment. Uh, it was, uh, it was cool. I did have a conversation with one guy that, uh, another just kind of heartbreaking moment. I mean, he's in just tattered clothes and, uh, he had plastic bags on for shoes um, and I couldn't really get much out of him as far as like a conversation was concerned. But I just, I shared the love of Jesus with him as best I could in the moment. Um, you know, I guess that's one thing about out here is that the diversity of, uh, you know, types of, uh, what would you call it? like poverty levels I guess it's stark because you know you've got again it's kind of like the Miami beach area you've got these towers that go up to the sky on one side and then right in the shadow of those towers are people that are dying from abject poverty it's it's so strange I don't know if the wealth draws the more poor persons in or if the wealth is taking more from the poor people uh, I don't know again just kind of thoughts from 
the uh, road out here, but uh, yeah, really kind of blown away by uh, New York City and Central Park here. So I'm gonna keep climbing through all these hills and dales. And, uh, I'll let you guys enjoy the ride. I love you, I'll see you later. All right, so that one is much bigger in person than the pictures show. St. Patrick's Cathedral is a huge piece of stonework. Like, it's crazy big. I can't even explain the scale, it's huge. So, anyway, now on to the Empire State Building. Let's go. All right, so I get it. Uh, I get why the term skyscraper. It really looks like it's just scraping the sky up there. You know, we've got the RSA tower, tower in Mobile. Uh, it's got nothing on this thing. Anyway, I'm gonna see if I can find out if uh, I'm able to go up. Uh, I don't even know if the observatory up there or the floors are open, so let me go figure that out and you'll see more of that right about now. My ears are popping. It doesn't feel like I'm moving at all. <laughs> this elevator is so fast. Oh my gosh, my ears are popping again. This is crazy. Oh, one more time. I never felt the elevator move. Not one single time. Crazy. I was talking to the guy uh, <laughs> that checked me in, like, you know, they have a security thing, you gotta run all your baggage and stuff through wallet, belt, etc. Uh, and kind of was telling him my story a little bit and uh, gave him the sticker. He's like, you got a real Forrest Gump thing going on. I was like, you don't even know. <laughs> so, uh, it was really cool. Anyway, it is just stunning up here. Like, now 
I, I can visually, you know, I want to go to Israel at some point so I can see the Bible like this because, you know, you see this in the movies. Um, but when you actually get up here and realize how high it is and, uh, you know, how windy it is, it's crazy. Like, like big, big buildings way over here. Uh, just, it seems like a tiny little city, but I've been riding through it all day. It is not tiny. Yeah, cool stuff. I also heard that like that end down there and then the upper end here are the only places they can build the super tall skyscrapers because of the bedrock. So I don't know how true that is, but hey, if you know the answer to that, probably come. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna keep going. Love you guys, see you later. All right. Yeah, see you like it. Ears are popping here at 67. This thing is cruising. I, I cannot explain. Ears popped again. Uh, yeah, like, I'm, I don't feel like I'm falling, but I know I have to be, like, close to falling because it's going so fast. I can't feel it. It shakes a little bit left and right, but the up and down, no idea. I, if, if nobody had told me, if I didn't know what I was doing, thank you. I'd have no idea. I just went down 80 floors. Crazy. That's fast. All right, so that was Little Italy Pizza. <laughs> really good. Uh, the crust, the, the like bread part, had like little crumbs on the bottom that kept it from getting burnt, but it was crispy, like a cracker, but the pizza was soft. That was a good, good slice of pizza. However, it was oily again. I hope that's not like a trend. Uh, just oil, yellowish orange oil dripping all off the cheese. Like, really don't like that. You know, I don't like oily, greasy food, so. Uh, anyway, yeah, on to find some more pizza and some more stuff to see and some more people to talk to. Let's go. Alright, so some quick things I've learned here about New York City. You can move much faster through the city on a bicycle than you can in a car by a long shot. Like, I'm passing cars and leaving them in the dust. Uh, the other thing uh, is that Washington Square Park is like the summer of love all over again. <laughs> Like, that is a interesting area of New York City. My goodness. Like, I spent just, you know, maybe 10, 15 minutes walking around and chatting people up. And that is, uh, if you've ever been there, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to keep riding. I'm going to Cat's Deli, Cat's Delicatessen, uh, just to see it. I don't think they've got pizza there. Uh, and then find some pizza, and I'm getting closer and closer by the minute back to downtown. So I am 15.49 uh, miles in for the day, and uh, it says I've done 1,407 feet of elevation climb. Maybe 200 of that was uh, Central Park. <laughs> the rest of it I had my Garmin in my bag when I went up there. Empire State Building. So don't count the elevation gain for this day in, in your totals if you're keeping count. Anyway, love you guys. See you later. I'll have what she's having. 
All right, so this unassuming building here is uh, where Supreme is housed. And so I just wanted to check it out because, you know, there's only like 12 locations and everything is like personally designed. There's only one thing of each thing. It's, you know, it's a thing. And so I was like, I'd like to check it out. So I talked to the guys at the counter. I was like, do you have a sticker? Um, because, you know, I can't carry too much and was just kind of sharing my story and the YouTube channel, those kind of things with them. Uh, and they were like, yeah, man, you can, you can have a sticker. Matter of fact, you can have a lot of stickers <laughs> so I think I'm gonna do a giveaway uh, I think I'm gonna do a giveaway I'm not sure how I'm gonna do a giveaway but if you want a, su a Supreme sticker from the Supreme store here in New York I think it's uh, on Bowery uh, yeah I got gotcha. you so we'll figure out how to do that and I'll also send a redeeming Eden sticker with it somebody like get in touch with me and let me know how this would work uh, for a giveaway because this is something I haven't ever done yet, but I know that these are You know pretty high demand. and I only need a couple for my buckets I'll keep one for the house give you know one to my kids or something, but I've got a lot so yeah cool stuff Thanks guys and supreme. Let's go All right, so uh, Scar's Pizza was incredible. Uh, it was not oily, thank goodness. Definitely a uh, regular pizza as far as the uh, cheese and stuff was concerned. Uh, the crust was a little bit fire cooked, so like I, I normally like that, but toward the end, I was kind of had a, like a s'mores thing going on <laughs> where it just tasted like ash and you know charcoal uh, all in all though good pizza uh, I don't think I'm gonna get eight slices in today I'm headed over to uh, Francis Tavern uh, which I hear that George Washington slept there uh, so that's some cool history and then around the One World Trade Center up to the top back down 9-11 uh, Memorial and back to the hotel for the night it is 5:30 now so just kind of been getting it done today. It's been a really good day. Uh, I've enjoyed seeing a lot of the things that I've only seen in the movies. So, yeah, cool. Good memories. Let's go. Francis Tavern. Pretty cool. One thing I'm just realizing that I, I just caught on to for the ver first time today is the sun. It has been strangely absent all day. I mean, it has been absent. It's been up there. But I haven't seen it. Like, that's the first time I can remember seeing the sunlight. I even stopped in uh, Sheep Meadows in Central Park uh, and just kind of laid out. And it's still, I don't remember seeing the sun there. I know that it had to be up there, but uh, it's either like, you know, really shady uh, sun-wise or, uh, or that's it. Like, it's, it's strange. The, all these little buildings, I can't imagine not seeing the sun all day like that. Like, after being, you know, living outside for 44 days, it's, uh, it's just strange. Anyway. Yep, on the One World Trade Center, let's go! Wow, this is like a definitely a somber moment after a crazy, uh, fun, like, almost jubilant day of riding around New York City. Didn't even know I was going to roll past this. Didn't know where this was. This is the 9-11 Memorial. That's the footprint of uh, one of the World Trade Center buildings. Uh, I still remember. I know everybody that was alive can remember it. Uh, I was working at Radio Shack uh, when it all started to happen. I just graduated high school in 2001, that May. 
I was working like my first job that I thought was going to be the job for the rest of my life. And uh, heard about it, put it on every TV, every different station. Uh, and it's one of the first times that I can remember since I was a child kneeling and praying. I didn't know what I was doing. Um, but like this overwhelming feeling came over me to pray. Like I knew something was wrong. And uh, yeah, I love how uh, the United States was bonded and banded together during that time and sought God with everything. Uh, and I just uh, I hope that, you know, through COVID that that's what's happening again, that we're coming together, that the unity can be that was a terrible feeling, but it brought about such a good few years that I can remember of, of our country. So, uh, anyway, yeah, I'm going to sit here for just a little bit before I keep rolling and uh, just pray again. This time, I know what I'm doing. So, anyway, I love you guys. I'll see you later. Alright, so I'm almost back to the hotel. I got about 800 feet left to go. Uh, made a really nice big lap around Manhattan today. It was wonderful. Saw so many things, talked to so many people. Uh, if I met you in New York today and you got a sticker or we talked, whatever, drop a comment. Uh, yeah, it was just, uh, it was cool to meet every single one of you. Uh, I thought that I would meet like a lot more people, uh, but again, like these high volume areas of people Everybody just wants to kind of stay in their lane. Like they don't, they don't want anything to do with the guy on the bike. Also, I kind of noticed that without the panniers on the bike, like not as many people want to walk up and be like, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> I just seem like a regular cyclist. Um, but anyway, yeah, I just kind of wanted to end the video here. Trinity Church in the background. Uh, it's been a good day, so. If you know anybody who's passed away from addiction in any form or fashion, please drop their name in the comments or find me through the popple link in the description. And I would love to ride for your person and celebrate their life with you for a day. If you know anybody who's actively addicted, share this with them. I don't want to see anybody else die from addiction. I know you don't either. Let's use Redeeming Eden as a tool now that we might save a life. This is the React Tour, R-E-A-C-C-T. So I need your help, I need you to react. Like the videos, comment on the videos on YouTube, share the videos on your social media profiles. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. All these things will go a long way in helping build Redeeming Eden, the Gardener Rehab. Don't forget Redeeming Eden is a nonprofit ministry through International Gospel Outreach. I'll leave a link to them in the description. You, you can go there, you can find my bio on their website, find out more about Redeeming Eden and about the Cody Jordan Forever Funeral Fund. Or you can go back and watch the day one video from this series, The React Tour. So yeah, uh, from here in downtown Manhattan, lower Manhattan, uh, the Trinity Church area of Manhattan, 800 feet from my hotel away in Manhattan. I love you guys. Jesus loves you. I'll see you later. Have a good day.
I totally just realized it's the only room with a balcony. That's crazy. Thanks, Evan. <laughs>